this is a new code with uh, which we will read the joystick push button switch value i will give all the code in my description section you can go to my description section for all the codes here at first we have to define which are the up button right button down button and the left button here we have kept the up button on the pin 2 right button on the pin 3 down button on the pin 4 and the left button on the pin 5 of the arduino uno and also the button e that is this is the button e and this is the button f okay this is the button up button this is the right button this is the down button and this is the left button according to the Arduino joystick field the up button is the a button the right button is the b button down button is the c button and the left button is the d button and this is the e button which is written and uh, on the left of e button is the f button so uh, according to that we have kept the gave the pin, pin numbers on the code the button e is defined on the pin 6 and the button f is defined on the pin 7 okay now we will define a delay of 500 you can also increase the delay if you uh, need a greater delay now on the void setup part uh, we will uh, give the serial dot begin with the baud rate of 9600 and here i have written that to enable pull up resistors first write pin mode okay and then make that pin high that means uh, if you make the pin high then uh, you will not see the output at first you have to define the pin mode with the button up is given as the input that is at first we are giving the input with the up button this is as we place it this is becoming the input and as we release it it will acknowledge that yes it is the up button is pressed okay so at first pin mode button up is given as input then the digital write button up high that means button up is high Similar is the case for all the buttons. Pin mode button right is given as input. That means at first we press the right button. So the B button or right button is given as input. And the pin B that is the right button is set to high. This is the digital right. Okay. This will go under the digital right and similar is the case for down button and the left button also the E and F buttons okay now in the void loop section as I have said that as we release the button after pressing after as we press it goes as the input and as we release it it acknowledges that that yes this button is pressed okay so the digital loop button up when becomes low that means when we release the button at, at first we press the button it becomes high as we release the button it becomes low so then what will print in the serial monitor that yes the button a is pressed and after that there will be a delay between one key press and the another button press again else if here we have given the if loop nested if loop if digital read button right is low then what will be print in the serial monitor if it gets low then that means at first we press the right button then it becomes high and then as we release the left right button the digital read will get the digital signal that yes the button right has got low okay since we are not pressing it now we have pressed it just one time okay and after that we have released it so the signal will go that the button right is now at the point of time is low so the serial monitor will print that the button b is pressed okay you can see the button b clearly and there will be a delay of some time same is the case for button down button left that is the button c is the button down and the button left is the button d similar is the case for button e and the button f okay and at last there will be a delay and there will be the end of the program now open the serial monitor on the arduino 
and make sure that auto scroll new line and 9600 border rate is selected here now what you have to do is to press the a button you can see that on the serial monitor you can see the button a is pressed if we press the b button button b is pressed if we press the c button button c is pressed if we press the d button button d is pressed now this is the e button if we press it button e is pressed notification has come and if we press the f button here button f is pressed now if you press random values c a d b f d b a c e okay d e c a d f d d a c d now you can press also fast forward all the notifications will come in the serial monitor that which button is pressed okay and so these are the simple codes with which we can test the Arduino joystick shield whether it is working fine or not okay also we can make similar uh, many kind of cards RC cards RC drones with this uh, re simple remote any other projects are coming soon so stay tuned on my channel and please like share and subscribe i am holding the camera with my left hand and uh, doing the video since i am in madhya pradesh on my new job on indoor so i am facing much difficulty in making the video i will be much helpful if you subscribe to my channel and kindly support me see you soon in the next video till then all the best